automatic camera size screen GUI we add a frame we add a scrolling frame on the inside set the scrolling screen size to absolute I mean to, to scale uh, we can make this frame itself bigger uh, okay scrolling frame uh, it's got by default it's got a canvas size of scale too you can set this down to zero and then you can give it some UI elements like a text button yeah and then give it a list layout actually I'm gonna make this black so it's easier to see so you got this button here and the list layout is going to automatically organize them let's give it some padding and let's uh let's set this to center and we can start duplicating and then we go back to the scrolling frame we set the automatic size to Y uh, no, 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 that's the wrong one. It's, uh, it, it's, it's, uh, automatic canvas size, it's this one. The scroll, oh, there it is, okay. So, yeah. It, 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 like, I, I don't see what the problem is. Uh, and then you can also add a padding on top of that. What is this? It's padding 4, okay, let's just make the top and bottom 4 as well. It's still worse, you can see there's now a very slight gap and it still scales properly okay now let's change this into a, a grid layout a grid layout yeah it still scales properly on the top and bottom we can then add the the left and right padding and then you, you gotta pay attention to the cell padding we use change the cell size if the cell padding is it, it might interfere with the with the arrangement so that it doesn't actually fit. So uh, let's see. Uh, don't make this an odd number then instead. Don't don't make this an odd number. That that that's problematic. Anyways, we set this to uh, minus uh, minus f no minus two. There we go. Minus two and now it perfectly fits. And it still scales perfectly. Let's add one more there. It, it's all perfect. Look, look at this gap around the around the edge, and the, and the gap between all the buttons. It, it all perfectly matches. We we can add more. It, it's still perfectly match. Always set us to always. Right. If you set the scroll bar inset to always, then the scaling will respect the scrolling bar. And now there is a gap between the buttons and the scrolling bar itself and then you can do more if you go to the frame containing the scrolling frame you can then add even more padding and just set to the same values and uh, maybe make this color match and then we, uh, we do some math and then we just take away what's already there set this to zero set this to zero and set this to zero boom it all perfectly works look at this yeah